Hello, so this video is about how, how I am trying to save files using the save as LLB option inside data grip and currently it's not working for me. Uh, I'm going to download the program here. I'm going to show in this video how do I do the, the full installation. Uh, I already have the file downloaded, so for just uh, to save some time, so I already downloaded the, the file, the installation file. It is right here. I'm following the, the installation instructions here inside the tar file. So these are these are the instructions I'm going to be following right here. So the first thing I need to do. Is I'm going to open a console here. And let's change into the directory. So here is data grip. Okay. So now I'm going to, to uncompress this file inside the opt directory in order to make it available to all the users on the system. I need to use the data option with the D, X, B, and F. Oops. Okay, I wonder, there is no auto completion here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to choose the extraction directory, the target directory. It's going to be OPT. And let's introduce. Okay, so right now the software has been installed. So let's change to the OPT directory. And if I list, I'm going to list the, the contents of this directory. We can see right here is the data grid folder. Let's change inside that. Uh -huh. Let's list the contents of the file. There is a bin folder here. I'm going to cd into it. And right here, I'm supposed to be running this file here, the datagrid.sh. So according to the Linux installation instructions, I need to open a console cd into the installation uh, folder, dash the bin folder, and I need to type this. I'm going to just copy and paste it. There we go. I just copy and pasted it here, and it should run the data grid software. Any moment now. Is it doing anything? Oh wait, yes. It is. I guess since uh, I already installed the software before, it's going to be uh, saving the. It's going to be saving me the the burden of reinstalling everything from scratch. So here we are. Uh, seems like I, I already have a, a console open. I don't really need to see. It. Yeah, seems like everything is connected already. So to make this simple, I'm going to open a new file, I think.
or maybe a console. Uh, does it matter? Okay, let's see. Value SQS file. There we go. So we are going to be doing here the testing. Um, let's first uh, check. I already have. A, this is my system information. I'm going to be adding it to the uh, to the comment of the video if you need it. So here is my testing code. There we go. So I'm going to be pulling out a, a, a testing row here. And there we go. So in this case, uh, this ID is going to return me two, two rows here. So what I'm trying to do right now is to say uh, the contents of this blob file here. Uh, I'm running this on SQL Server. I'm going to be adding the, the information of the SQL Server too in the description of the video. So I right click here. I say the log, and I already have a, a folder here for the images inside my home folder. And I just click OK. And here I actually get in an exception now. It says. equal to seems like this is doing something here besides okay i going this is new to me actually let me check the image folder There's still nothing here So the next thing I'm going to try now, let's run again. Okay, so here we are again. I'm going to save the log, and I'm going to add a JP, JPEG extension here. It's doing something again. It says, uh, this is new, let me see. There we go. So we're getting somewhere. Okay, so seems like it's actually working now. Go figure. Let's try with another one. I believe that the, in the last video, I just tried this, JPG. And that didn't seem to work. Seems like it's working now. Let's, let me check. There we go. Again. Seems to be working now. I don't know what happened then. Uh, I, I did the installation just as I did it the last time. I wonder what happened now. Okay. Then... If I don't add anything, seems like uh, I'm not getting anything to. Actually, I did. The funny thing is that the first time didn't get anything. Let me see the, the folder. I'm getting something here. It's like a BMP image from Windows. Okay. It doesn't have an extension. Although Linux seems to know what kind of uh, file it is. Okay. Seems like it's working now. So I guess we, uh, we can call it a day, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, 